Hi everyone, so today I wanted to do a review for you on the Hourglass Illusion Hyaluronic Skin Tint Broad Spectrum SPF 15. So first disclosure that I want to include because I always want to be completely transparent with you guys, I did not buy this. Hourglass did give this to me as part of my welcome gift for joining the uh, Market Trainer team in New York. So I did not pay for this. This is $55. That is $55 of my money that I did not spend. Um, I also was sent the number 28 primer serum as part of that package. So just full disclosure, I did not pay for this, but my review nonetheless will be the same as if I did pay for it. So if you're familiar with the Hourglass range, you'll know that this used to be the Hourglass tinted, excuse me, the Illusion tinted moisturizer, um, which used to come in a pump like this, much like the rest of their foundations, Veil and Immaculate. Um, I think because of the formula, because this is a little bit of more of a dense formula, it's more, they decided to put it in a squeeze tube and I think that is a huge improvement because I have a few shades in the, um, in the pump bottle and I much prefer the squeeze tube. Um, I also think it looks a little bit nicer in the squeeze tube for whatever reason. They also added more shades when they launched this in the squeeze tube, which I think is great. They brought a few out that are lighter, they brought a few out that are darker. I use the shade Ivory, but if I'm honest, Warm Ivory is a little bit of a better option. I told them Ivory because I was swatching them in the store and I thought, oh, perfect, this has a touch of yellow in it, I can use it. Warm Ivory is more yellow and a little bit deeper, so it's a better option. I don't have to bronze when I use Warm Ivory. But I haven't bought Warm Ivory yet, I'm thinking about it. So who is this for? So if you notice in the name Hyaluronic Skin Tint, anyone who knows anything about skincare or ingredients or hyaluronic acid knows that hyaluronic is great at binding moisture to the skin. It can hold a lot of its own weight in water. So if you experience dryness or dehydration, this is a great product to use as an extension of your skincare to deliver hyaluronic to your skin all day and get that constant, plump, smooth, hydrated effect and feel on the skin. Um, I believe this is oil-free. In fact, I know this. This is oil-free. All of their foundations are oil-free. So if you are someone who's worried about oil for whatever reason, this is a safe bet to use. You're perfectly fine with this. Um, I would say this could give you anywhere from, depending on how you apply it, can give you a nice sheer coverage to almost medium full coverage, just depending on how much you use, how you apply it, and how you work with it. But I think that's true with all of Hourglass's foundations. They are pretty full in coverage, but you can always sheer them out. Um, personally, I've always been a fan of sheer foundations that you can then layer and build or add concealer rather than taking a thick foundation and shearing it out. That's just how I like to work, but I know some people like to work thin, thick to thin rather than thin to thick. Um, so if you're someone who likes a fuller coverage, this is definitely an option for you. Um, I would say this is best for normal to dry skins. If you are someone who is oily and you do really want a luminous finish foundation, by all means go for it. But I feel like most people who are oily skinned prefer to have a matte finish on their skin because they are good in the shine department. That's when I would recommend Immaculate. Um, let me show you a little bit of what this looks like. I am wearing this right now. I do have a touch of a Soleil Tan de Chanel on to warm it up because it is a little bit light for me and um, a bit of concealer, but that's my base foundation. Um, let me grab a mirror so I can see what the hell I'm doing. I'm actually gonna touch up on my nose a little bit because my nose has been a little bit red. What I use today to apply it is the Up and Up blush brush, but Hourglass, of course, and myself included, would recommend using the number two brush because it is um, a great brush and it is really easy to control and you can use it for your blush afterwards, you can use it with your powder. But I was experimenting with using this today because I did want a sheer coverage and this is less dense than the number two brush. So. With that said, I've used, I've put this much product on my hand. That's probably enough if you wanted sheer coverage to do all over your entire face. This is pretty pigmented stuff. So I'm gonna, I have that much on my brush. It's gonna be too much, I just know it, yep. Put a little bit on. It is a thicker texture. It's certainly, I don't wanna say it's more gel-like, but it's not fluid by any stretch of the imagination. It's, it's, it's denser. I mean, there's no other way to put it, but it's denser. And with that said, there's not a lot of really, like, there's no thick butters. There's no, um, you know, really occlusive ingredients that are going to clog you. It's just by nature of 
the, the foundation being thicker. So So obviously you can see I got a bit of coverage and I still have a lot left. I mean, that was me really like trying to shear it out. I did have a little powder on my nose earlier because I was a touch shiny, but I'm okay with it. So mind you, I'm putting this on top of existing foundation and it's looking good. I do have the Veil Primer on underneath this because I needed a little bit of um, calming with the zinc. Alright, so we've touched up a little bit and now I have a little extra on my hand that I do not want to get everywhere. So let's wipe that off. Um, so sunscreen wise, let's talk about what the sunscreens are. We have um, octanoxate, octosalate, and titanium dioxide. There is no zinc in here. so. It's not going to leave a, um, it's not going to flash back that bad. I mean, you will notice a touch just by nature of any sunscreen, but it's certainly not something I would like completely stay away from from the foundation because how often are you going to be photographed? And they use this on red carpets all the time. This is one of our red carpet, you know, celebrity favorites because of the glow that obviously it gives that I wouldn't be too worried about it. So it's good sunscreen. It's SPF 15 broad spectrum. That's great. Now let's get to the part that I personally am not a huge fan of. It is a luminous finish, like I said. But it's not just luminous because of the texture, it's luminous because of the formula. So they've actually added a little bit of like a reflective particle into here to give it that extreme glow. Now you guys know I love a dewy foundation, I love a luminous skin, but I much prefer it to be something like um, Luminous Silk or Vita Lumiere or um, Le Ton Touche Clot, something that doesn't have shimmer to it but that does give a lot of glow to the skin so because of that I find myself not using this as often as I would like to because I think that I'm often seen too often in um in sunlight and I I'm really critical of how I look really up close to my skin and I can I pay you know minute detail to my face um I, I pay extreme attention to my face um and I do notice it if I'm standing in really, really direct light or I'm looking extremely up close. I think from this distance or even this distance, you really can't see it. You can see that my skin texture is basically ruined from the changing of this water, but you can't really see any glitter on my skin. Now, if I were to step out in sunlight, that's something you would be able to see. Um, so just keep that in mind. It's not as bad as like using like a, um, like a meteorites powder all over your face, because trust me, I've seen what meteorites looks like all over your entire face. Um, but it is something to keep in mind. So all in all, it is a good product. It's made really well. There is a lot of hyaluronic acid and you will see a plumpness and a smoothness and a radiance to your skin because of the skincare benefits that are in it. But you're also going to see a truly like luminous looking skin um, and out of this world glow uh, what do they call it? Otherworldly glow. Um, that's what that's what it's supposed to do, and that's definitely what it does. Um, Formula-wise, it's good. There's no irritating ingredients. There's no. If you're someone who likes a luminous finish, this is a, a, a definite product to try out. Yep. So, let's. I can do up close now. I was never able to do that before because I'm filming on my phone now. Look at that. Oh, look at that up close focus. This has never happened in my life. So. That is my review on the Hourglass Illusion Hyaluronic Skin Tint. Give it a shot if you like a luminous finish, if you're dry to normal skin, or if you're oily and you really want to have a luminosity to, to your skin, then this is, there's no oil in here, so you're not adding to the problem. Um, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed that, and let me know if you try it and what you think, or if you already have this at home. Um, sorry, I just love to blend everything. Um, if you already have this at home, let me know what you think, and... Talk to you guys real soon. Bye.